Dr. Yoni Witten here, and this week we're talking all about bone density. Low bone density, known as osteopenia in its early stages and osteoporosis in its much more advanced stages, is a real problem for certain populations, especially postmenopausal women. See, when a person's bones become weakened to that level, they can experience functional limitations, chronic pain, postural distortions, and they're at a way higher risk for catastrophic falls and fractures, things that are absolutely disastrous for a person's health. Despite the effort and energy that has been poured into this problem, we have yet to come up with the perfect solution. What I want to share with you today is one potential avenue for resolving this problem. By combining established techniques for laying down bone density with modern day technology, researchers have shown in the osteoporotic population that you can lay down significant amounts of bone density in very short periods of time. I'm super excited to share this with you. Let's jump into it. A number of different studies have looked into the effects of whole body vibration on bone density, but none has produced more impressive results than the Ruan study from 2008. In this study, researchers took 116 postmenopausal women with osteoporosis and they split them up into two groups. Group number one performed a specific series of exercises on a vibration platform, while group number two did nothing. Subjects were evaluated at baseline, three months in, and then at six months for both pain levels and bone density. And what these researchers found was remarkable. The group that had been doing their exercises on the vibration platform increased bone density in the neck of their femur, the hip, by over 3% in six months, and in the lumbar spine, by over 4% in that same period of time. Now those numbers might not sound that impressive until you realize that the control group actually lost nearly 2% of their bone density in their lumbar spine and at their hip in that same period of time, nearly a 6% discrepancy between the two groups. As an added bonus, the group that had been doing their exercises on the vibration platform had lower pain levels at the six month mark. When it comes to using whole body vibration specifically to improve your bone density, there are a few important lessons that we can pull directly from the scientific literature that we can use to optimize our training and maximize our results. Now, the first thing that you want to keep in mind is the frequency of vibration. The studies that have generated the most impressive results in terms of bone density have consistently used a vibration range of 30 to 35 Hertz. Now, the platform that I'm using here, the power plate move, conveniently, the lowest setting is right at 35 hertz, which is perfect for this application. Next, total training time. And you guys are gonna love this one because bone density seems to respond best to very low training times, specifically 10 to 15 minutes. That's your max training time. When you start going beyond that, the results go down. So we wanna make sure that we're staying right in that sweet spot. Next is training frequency, how many times per week you're doing it. Studies have had some variation here, but re impressive results have been shown at a low end of three sessions a week and a high end of five sessions a week. Now, importantly, when they were doing three sessions a week, they were 15 minutes long. When they were doing five sessions a week, the study that generated the most impressive results for bone density, they were doing five sessions a week, 10 minutes per session. And then the final thing to keep in mind is what's called a training cycle, which is the amount of time that you spend doing muscular effort paired with the amount of time that you spend resting. Now, bone density seems to respond best to 30 to 60 seconds of muscular effort paired by an equal amount of rest time afterwards. Those two things together equal one training cycle. Now, super important that during the rest phase, of each cycle, you are either stepping off of the platform or you're using your remote control to turn the platform off. You need to make sure that the bone is not being exposed to vibration during the rest cycle. This is super important for maintaining sensitivity of the bones and maximizing the results. Because what the studies show is if you get too much exposure to vibration, then the results actually drop off. So we need to make sure that we're keeping that in mind. 30 to 60 seconds muscular effort, then equal amount of time where you're not being exposed to vibration before you repeat. Now in the Ruan study that I was talking to you guys about earlier, where they generated the most impressive results, they were using the following series of exercises. First, they used a squat, 
There was a dynamic version and an isometric version. They used a heel raise. They used hip abduction and hip flexion. And I want to go through each of those with you guys right now. So first for the squat, feet are going to be hip width apart. Toes pointing straight out in front of you. And we're going to just drop straight down to the bottom position and hold. Now this seems really easy, but as your time starts to build up here, paired up with the vibration, this actually becomes super challenging. So 30 to 60 seconds, come up, turn the platform off, rest for an equal amount of time. Alternatively, you can do a squat where you're going through a range of motion consistently for 30 to 60 seconds. Now it's helpful if you uh, are not super confident with your balance and stability to have something to hold on to while you're dropping into your squats, you can also use your arms to help pull you out of the squat if needed. Um, the other thing that you need to keep in mind is if your strength is low when you're first starting off, just don't go so deep into the squat. You can just come to here and hold. That would be a good, good place to start off. 30 to 60 seconds, come back up, turn the machine off, rest for an equal amount of time. Next exercise is a heel raise. So nice to have the machine positioned next to a wall for this one so you can reach out for support and stability. Up onto the toes, down and rest. Up onto the toes, down and rest. Back and forth, 30 to 60 seconds. You can also do an isometric form of this. Uh, same movement where you just come up on the toes and hold for 30 to 60 seconds. Either way, afterwards, turn the machine off, rest for an equal amount of time. If you want to make that motion a lot harder, you've got a couple options. First, you can hang your heels off the edge of the platform and increase the range of motion. As you move through that, back and forth. If you want to make that motion much more challenging, you can turn it into a single leg exercise. Start your vibration up, lift one, and up onto the Toes of the opposite side. Again, you can do a static where you're just up and holding for 30 to 60 seconds or a dynamic where you're coming back and forth. Pause after 30 to 60 seconds, switch over to the opposite side and same thing there. After that, we can go into hip flexion. That's just lifting the leg up and holding here. You wanna make sure that when you do this, you're lifting up with a straight back you don't want to see any of this rounding as you're doing it. None of that. Nice straight back. Again, nice to have something to hold on to here. If you want to make that more challenging, you can apply some downward pressure with your arm there. Make that quite a bit harder. 30 to 60 seconds. Turn that off. Switch over to the other side. Same thing. Just holding. You can also do hip flexion dynamically, moving through a range of motion here. Again, keeping a nice straight spine. After 30 to 60 seconds, you would pause, switch over to the other side after resting for an equal amount of time. If you want to make that one way harder, you can challenge the leg on the way up by applying downward pressure on every repetition for 30 to 60 seconds straight. Heck of a workout there. Rest for an equal amount of time. And then the final exercise, hip abduction moving the hip away from the midline of the body. Super helpful to have something to hold on to here. This will help make sure that your torso stays nice and straight and you're not leaning to make this motion happen, but you're lifting the leg away from the midline and holding. Strong muscular contraction here at the outer edge of the hip. Super important to maintain strength there for balance, stability, being able to walk, rest for an equal amount of time, switch over to the other side. Alternatively, you can move back and forth through a range of motion. Notice that my torso stays upright the whole time. I'm using the wall here behind me for support. 30 to 60 seconds there. The Ruan study demonstrated super impressive results for increased bone density in the lumbar spine and at the neck of the femur, one of the most common fracture sites so super important to increase bone density in those areas, increase muscular strength and stamina. This is like insurance for protecting your health, your longevity, your functionality, and your quality of life. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you'll put the information to good use. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you stay updated on the new videos that come out each week. And if you want to get deeper into the science of whole body vibration, I'm going to include links for the Wuhan study and the other studies that I quoted in this video in the description down below. 
If you're ready to take your training to the next level, I've arranged a special discount with PowerPlate just for my audience where you can get 20% off with free shipping on the best vibration platforms on the market. Just use the links down below and we'll see you guys next week.